how every Porky Ryan Monarch did. 1156. The Scottish Invasion in 1156. That was the year uh, Paul, Paul is the first. But the first ever porcupine king who actually died, he actually choked to death. And then it was Paul of Pig. And, and he, he actually fell in the toilet. And then it was Rory the First. He had a most, uh, a terrible puss. Pathetic death. You actually died from eating too much fish. And then it was Yolanda. It was who is gone by by the tw by and he was he was what he was barely a, a con um for instance uh pro through the eleven the through through the eleven eighties. <laughs> you see the door going, and also next it was Paul Ray the the second. Ray the second was an absolute idiot. He actually was a divorcee. To be claiming of his one grandmother, I found she wasn't even Scottish. Mm. See the dark. Uh. Rory the second died young. The next king, Paulus the third, had Rory the second murdered. The next to die was Paulus the third. And more of like Elizabeth Stewart. She's she wasn't even English. Elizabeth Stewart was Scottish. Bit. <laughs> Next to that, he was Rory the Third. He actually died. Oh dear, this must be a most of the pathetic. He actually died from getting his abdomen 
tearing apart. And it did kill him. Oh dear. Looks like some bloke known is is Polis the Fourth has been claimed to the throne. Yes. But what does he do? Like uh, you know, uh. Kills. He kills Richard. He actually he uh he kills some Stuarts. and it was. Rather pathetic. Hmm. But he had the most famous dynasty ever. The, the men's mm. Mm. Yeah, oh dear, looks like some book. No, no, is Paulus the fifth who charged into claiming the throne? Uh, he has a nasty army. What does he do? Does he like kill Rory the fourth in battle? Also, next it was the now and it, well, but in sixteen ninety six, Cuba was born, and was she wasn't even Scottish, but she she was Cuban, and and she was born in. In Cuba, and she died in eighteen hundred, eighteen zero zero, from, you know, a uh, poison, uh, just about. Uh, Six months after her son, Owen. Uh, Owen had a pretty pathetic death. Indeed, he died reportedly from having too much salt. <clears throat> Next, it was. Next, it was, Paul. Paulus the Tenth. What is the most reasonable mon? He was one of the most greatest kings ever. Now I would do a massive video about him, but well, Paulus was able to reach the age of seventy. He was able to reach the 
reached the age of 70, by then he would have lost all of his friends and, and his wife. As a widow, he stumbled into a deep depression and died. Next, it was Roy. What's the most reasonable monarch to be living for over the for for over a century? Roy was also known as as Cobbler's dad. And also, Roy actually he didn't die in his homeland in in France because he he died he didn't even die in Scotland in the, in the pit he died in Dalriada from a broken collarbone after falling out of his wheelchair. Next. Thomas, well, Ice look, look died after next. Also known as as Varel Sarah's granny. Also known as Varel Sarah's grandmother. These have, have not. He, she actually hey, uh, suffered from a heat stroke and then she melted. Because you know, ice melts in the sun. Well, thanks, Barrel to Part 1. Well, it's. Well, and for tomorrow. Ten and for tomorrow, t later on this day, I'll be making part two of how every single porcupine monarch died. Yes, I am Paulus the Eleventh. I'm fourteen years old now. And this year I'll be 15 on the 20th of September. Me and Sealager have the same birthday and the same birth year. And also, this is the most reasonable talent ever. Remember Polis the Third who died? Remember in the, in the invasion of Rui the Fourth? Well, Polis the Second didn't have any children, but his brother did. But Polis the Second. He was reportedly gay. He was gay because he know he never married anyone. <laughs>